<laughs> What's up, viewers, subscribers, and agents of light? It's your boy, Lightness Fan Prince, coming at y'all once again. Welcome for another upload. Enjoy yourself. Make sure if you're watching this video around children, hold on, wait, hold on. Let me square up for the agents real quick. Hold on, wait. Ah, I got a straight <laughs> me. Wait, wait. <coughs> Twice for you. Straight. If you're watching this video around children, please remove it from your immediate vicinity because my videos are not for children. This is adult-based content. Unmonetized adult-based content only. Here we go. Now, um, I felt, I hate to say what felt, but I feel, you know, feel as if it's necessary for me to elaborate on some things that a lot of people don't want to touch on because I believe in my heart of hearts that a lot of people are afraid because they're going to lose followers or they're going to lose subscribers or they're going to lose their whole fan base as all because as I said in my previous video before about the herd mentality, about the going with the flow type situation, people don't want to say what I say. And I say what I say on my channel irrespective of anybody's beliefs, nativity, creed, origin, nationality, or appellation of color. I say what I say in the spirit and the indefinite existence of truth. Simple as that. The title of this video is called The Absolute Self. Who are you? All right? Let's talk about it. The Absolute Self. It's not a book, but it is a book. It's a book that is written by your existence for who you are and what you exist to be in this world by your experience. And I made reference in videos before about the book Eli when I talked about in the beginning. See, everybody thought that it was about a biblical reference to the book of Genesis. The book of Genesis is not a book that begins with you. It's not. The book of Genesis is a story about something you have been predicating your life upon and believing has happened outside of your experience. The absolute self. So if you literally wrote your own book, and you can get one at Barnes & Noble if you want to try me on this one, and you wrote your own book of Genesis, what would you write? See, we we have been taught and indoctrinated the faculties of things that do not serve our individual greater purpose. See what I'm saying? See, things that don't teach us our individual greater purpose, we miss the story. That's why people in your life get lost in the chapter or chapters of your life because maybe they weren't meant to be a part of your story. But the absolute self means that the author who writes the book is in charge of the narrative. But the author can't write the book if the premise is not purpose for the benefit of the audience. You'd be amazed to believe to say that some of y'all who are subscribers are parts in the book that I write. These videos are documented, not on paper, but audio and visual is documented as well. But the purpose is what is the absolute self? Let's talk about it. The absolute self is never defined by anything outside of you. It's what, it's what is within yourself. What's within you? The absolute self. Y'all run to paperwork so much on these platforms and people who tell you things that you want to hear. And have you ever listened to yourself? 
When have you ever listened to what you know you need, but you just don't want to run to that thing which you know is the remedy to your solution? And I'm not no counselor, no psychiatrist, no legal professional, no none of that. So before any bitch-made agents get in my comment section, I'm talking to y'all too. Because to be honest with you, agent personality is more disassociated from their own reality because they fight tooth and nail to protect something they know nothing about. We don't call it a matrix. There's no such thing as a matrix. That's, 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 that's illogical. When the time you came out of your mother's womb, who predicated the time you were supposed to stay in there? Who said you stayed in there nine months? This is all predicated. Your world was created around you to make you believe that you had to be something. I have to be something. But you don't even know what you are. That's the sad part. You don't even know what you are. At least some of us do. But we ascribe ourselves to titles and standards that don't have nothing to do with our formulation about who we are. And we never figure out our absolute self. This is how you actually cancel out the reincarnative cycle. See, right now you're dealing with people. There's no such thing as a soulmate. That's stupid. Soulmate. If you was with a soulmate, you would find out who the fuck you are. Because you would mate with your soul. It's nothing outside of yourself. That's just a construct that people made to sound nice. Karmic partners. Those are nothing more than experiences that you deal with. But when do you come to the absolute self? The absolute self is outside of the minds of the peons that you deal with on a daily basis. And yes, I said it. The peons, the ones who have to go along with the flow. The ones who have to go along with the flow, the ones who can't survive in what we call the construct of this world without reliance. And this is where the herd mentality comes in at. The herd mentality kicks in because people have to realize that they are weak within themselves to actually actualize themselves to become better. But here's where the ego kicks in too to actually derail them from coming to their absolute self. And this is where salvation, quote unquote, the church has profited off for thousands of years. The ego makes you think that you're better than everyone because you finally figured out a little bit of who you are. And now you feel like you got it all. Look at these dumb motherfuckers on Instagram. They get a little bit of knowledge. They steal a little bit of this from there, steal a little bit of it from there, do a little bit of this from there, do a little bit of this from there, and they, they present it to you. They don't know who the fuck they are because it's not a purchase. You can't purchase your soul. You can. It's impossible. If you say money isn't real, why the fuck do y'all believe buying anything from anybody makes a difference? Because you haven't figured out your absolute self. You haven't given yourself enough time. You are only in this existence on this earth to, to rest. Why do you think you become tired between 24-hour intervals and who fixed that time? Yeah. Some people about to croak. <laughs> you ain't figured out your absolute self. I can say this shit for the next 10,000 years and y'all still wouldn't get it. There's no such thing as a hierarchy of a, any, any authority over you except you. It's you. You determine what you do. Do you understand what I'm saying? Sovereignty is a term that was coined from an, an English concept that actually denoted itself to currency. Silver. A sovereign was silver. 
It wasn't about anything that you had to dedicate yourself to the public for. That's why a lot of these people lose it. They lost the message. If you could hold a sovereign in your hand, you could. An old English sovereign, but they turned into a pound and blah, 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 and turned into a note. You would understand, but you don't get it because you're indoctrinated with the system and the toxicity of not believing in yourself. You don't believe in yourself. A lot of people question themselves daily because you want to curtail your attitude and your beliefs and your behaviors to other people and you're not living within the kingdom of self. You will never be absolute because any king or quote-unquote queen lives in the absolute kingdom of themselves. We ain't talking about that, though. We're not talking about the world control system that is beyond the comprehension of most of these imbeciles that people are around. Majority of y'all are around some people who don't even understand what I'm saying. What does that say about your kingdom? Is your kingdom a kingdom of light or darkness? Because the absolute self does not bend itself to the weaker will of that which does not know itself. People call a dog a dog, a car a car, but what do you call yourself? And that's in less than 12 minutes. <sighs> The absolute self. The absolute self. It's not about books and paperwork all the time, people. Sometimes it's about your deeds and the book you write. But can you be accountable for the deeds you write? Because there is no such thing in this existence as forgiveness. You can forget that shit. There is no such thing. Anyone who wants to mimic me or try to be me, you can never be me. My spiritual imprint is way too high. Way too high. Because I know who I am and I know how far I'm willing to travel. You may try, but you'll fail. But at the same token, it's not about perfection. It's about protection. Protect yourself. Stop being garnered by the influence. Why do you think society is in the shape it's in? Because people are so easily influenced. Easily. Whatever feels good to society is what they go with. If it distracts me, if it feels good, if it keeps me from finding out who I am, I'm cool with it. Tell a person to meditate as opposed to tell somebody to get on Instagram. They'll jump on Instagram first. Most people jump on Instagram first thing in the morning. Do they meditate? No. I could probably assure you they don't. And I'm probably talking to a lot of people that's watching this video. Yeah, y'all don't. Y'all don't. You don't. You get on there and you... you, you you function in influence. You don't even realize you're being controlled from keeping yourself from your absolute self. When have you actually taken care of yourself? When was the last time you actually worked on you? It's easy to point the finger at people. See, when you deal with people in your circle who love to point the finger, they're weak. Get away from them. Anyone who has to point the finger at another person for what they don't do is not a person you need around you. And that's the, that's the key to finding the absolute self. That's the Christ. Not no man-made religion that's going to make you think that something's going to come save you. There, yeah, I said it. That's, 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 that's irresponsibility. Irresponsibility is what makes religion flourish. Thank you, Jesus. Ain't no such thing. 
except the Vatican. The private corporation ran by the Borgia family of the 13 bloodlines from the black nobility. You're welcome. Ain't no such thing as Jesus going to come save you. It's a lie because it's a myth that people don't read on, but they've been fed. The same system that you asking to save you from is throwing your people in jail and prison. What is I.E. reference to hell? Black's Law Dictionary. Look up the definition of hell. Because you ain't actualized yourself. You gave souls up to entities that you know nothing about because you didn't actualize yourself. Absolute self. Some of y'all will not even resonate with the message of what I have to say because y'all so y'all so stuck in ego. Y'all so stuck in ego. Let me show you how. Let me show you how 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 aloof people can be. You don't have a car, motherfucker. I'm living in it. You don't have a house. I'm living in it. It's called it's called this persona. It don't cost nothing to live in this. Don't pay a bill for living in my own skin. But you paying a bill for things that you know nothing about and entities who are raping you, and I said it, raping you for things that you have to work for in order to maintain, 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 main, central, contain. That shit don't belong to you. You didn't make it, but you can make the absolute self. And that's in less than 17 minutes. Simple as that. I'm just here as the avatar of an individual who's going to speak the truth and going to say what I have to say, irrespective of shadow banner or how people feel. See, we, we, we guide our thoughts and our feelings based upon what people feel. Fuck how you feel. Sometimes you need to feel some hurt. Sometimes you need to feel some discomfort. Because if you feel that, maybe you might appreciate it. Nobody appreciates health until their health is affected. It's all gravy until health is affected. Nobody appreciates a home until they're affected with eviction. That's the sad experience that people have been preyed upon and they can't decipher because the code is within your absolute self. For you to never get to that point. So somebody can point a finger and wait for you to fall. Wait for you to, I, I told you. No, nah, you live in a narcissistic society with a bunch of fucking psychopaths who condone psychopathic behavior. That's where you existed. But the infants need to rise up and actually stop feeling sometimes and start focusing on the absolute self because narcissists are going to just drive this shit further into the ground. But then you have to be grounded as an infant. Hello! <laughs> I said it. See, the society you live in can only drive you as far as as you think they got control. Ain't no such thing as control. Ain't no, excuse me, there's no such thing as control. There is no such thing as control. There isn't. You have control. If you don't want somebody to break into your motherfucking house, you put a lock on your door. Now, if they break in, that's on them. That's on them. But you got control over how they have access to your house. That's why a lot of y'all credit school is fucked up. Because y'all let these motherfuckers bring y'all roughshod thinking that they got control. Ain't no such thing as no elites, no Illuminati, none of that shit, none of them Freemasons. Y'all giving them power because y'all lack understanding. Ain't no, nobody has control over you. Government don't have control. How are you going to say government has control over what we do and you give them consent to do it? What's wrong with y'all? There's no such thing as control. Control is an illusion. 
I said it. If this is the last time you even hear this on the internet, control is an illusion. Why do you think they had to buy for something so much? But you can be your absolute self for free every day. Hello. <laughs> Don't cost you shit to be free in your own will. That's why it's called free will. Because you're free. You don't owe nobody shit. Y'all believe in these bills and these shit that y'all believe in it. You give it power. But just like a bill is fictitious, so is religion. And they both keep somebody else's bills paid who still keep believing in the same illusion. Y'all don't want, y'all ain't ready for the truth. Y'all too scared. Y'all too cowardly. Y'all too afraid. You too punkified by the shit. It's all in your fucking head. <laughs> you are the mastery of your own destination. Ain't no 13 bloodlines run this motherfucker. Bank industry. How are you going to run something and the money ain't even real? What's wrong with y'all? Are y'all psychotic? Or y'all just, like, is it the Doritos or the Taco Bell? Which one is it? You give your power up to belief. Understand when you believe in you and you take the lie out of believe and you be live, you got your life back. That's salvation. That shit ain't come out the sky. I said it. I said it. I straight said it. Pardon me, because um chair hitting the motherfucking curtain and shit. <laughs> straight. Stop believing the line you. Believe in yourself. You have the mastery and control. I know this ain't going to come across a lot of people conventionally because a motherfucker will be quick to refer to a book before they refer to they self. Start to get to know people before y'all try to sit here and place emphasis on stuff. Because the person that emphasizes on things outside of self needs to have more attention paid to what they pay attention to outside of themselves than themselves. Who am I? Who are you? Labels. But y'all keep wanting to rush to this paperwork because that's the reality that you have ascribed to. It's not the reality you live in. I ain't never see a deer pay a bill. I seen deers get shot, though. I ain't never see a bird pay a motherfucking gas bill. But y'all be on here complaining about bills. What's wrong with y'all? And y'all the most logically thinking motherfuckers, supposedly, logically thinking people... On existence, birds don't even pay bills. How does a how does a bird pay a nest but don't pay a mortgage? A fox can dig a hole. Who the fuck charged them? Where their bills go to? And the list goes on and on. A whale will swallow your asshole before you come in the ocean talking about you own anything. Y'all not hearing me, though. Because y'all scared. Y'all have been indoctrinated with the spirit of fear. An eagle. An eagle will snatch your dog up out the front yard. Color. Animals don't give a fuck what color you are. A bear will tear anybody's ass up that come near their motherfucking goddamn den. Y'all stuck as fuck, man. <laughs> Y'all stuck. Absolute self. Absolute self. Peace. Light. Love. Talk to y'all later. Cowards, fuck you. This world ain't yours. You just gonna succumb to it. You will. You will be undoubtedly in swallowed by this world. And that's why my favorite quote is, when I say this because I know how cowards think, cowards have to always defend their cowardice. But I tell you this, 
Some people about to croak. <laughs> See y'all soon.